Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts in SPSS. Keyboard shortcuts are very good when you want to easily navigate, easily remove data, and just to make your life easy. They say there is no shortcut in life, but there is shortcut in SPSS, which is good news for you. The first shortcut I'll show you is the Ctrl N or Command N if you're on the Mac. If you hit on Command N, you see a new window pop up. This is a new data set. So these keyboard shortcuts allow you to easily create a new file to work with in SPSS. If you hit Command O, which is Control O in window, it will open the last directory where you save the file. So you can easily open a file to work with in SPSS. Now Command S is very good, which is for saving data. Always remember to hit Command S each time you make changes because I've had so many cases of losing data when SPS suddenly shuts down. So always hit the command S or control S if you're using a window all the time. Now, if you want to copy and paste information, let's go to the variable view, for example. If you want to copy this case, just control copy and control V. But you see that the name is changed. That's because in the variable listing, you can have two cases with the same name. So that's why the variable name is changed. The control C is for copying, the control V is for pasting. Now, if I wanted to undo what I've just done now, so I wanted to remove this, I will hit command Z, which is the control Z in the window. So it will remove what I've just done now. Now, and if I want to put it back, it's redo, it's command Y to redo that, and command Z again to remove that. This is very useful if you mistakenly deleted your data. Look at this weight, for example. If I just mistakenly delete this data, I'm like, uh oh, it's gone. What do I do now? You just hit your command Z and it's back again. Or command Y to take it off. Command Z, it's back again. It's very easy and it's it's a good way to undo what you have done. Now, the control F is for finding. So if you wanted to find a particular case of an outlier or you wanted to find and replace something, if you hit on the command F button, it's going to find. So now I'm looking for six, which I can see there's a six there. But well, let me say find and replace, which is the control H function to go directly to this screen. But since we are here, we can just switch from control F to control H. Now, just I'm looking for six and I want to replace it with five. So if I click on replace, it's going to replace that case. Look at the, it's going to replace the six with a five. But now it just did with, with one. So if I select that case again, replace the six with a five, click on replace. It's gonna change that six to five. Now it's changed to five, but if I wanted to replace all, I'm just gonna select, click on replace all. So all the six in my listing is going to be changed to five. Now that's it with the control F and control H. Now, if you want to e easily switch between data view and variable view, instead of having to take your mouse all the way down and just, just control T or command T, takes you back and forth between the data view and the variable view. Making your navigation in SPSS very easy and straightforward without any hassle. If you wanted to select a lot of cases, you can either just click on your mouse and select everything, or you can hold down your shift button and select everything. So if you hold down your shift button and click on the selection, it selects everything. Now to delete, information in SPSS. If I wanted to delete this, if you're using a Windows, just hit the delete button. But on a Mac, you click on function backspace to delete the information and it's going to be de deleted. Now, there are hundreds of hundreds of keyboard shortcuts, but I'm focusing on the most important one in this lecture. So you can use it during other lectures that we're going to be taking. These keyboard shortcuts are very useful if you just make your life easier and it will allow you to easily navigate the SPSS windows. Thank you very much for watching this lecture and I hope to see you at the next lecture.